Okay, hello everyone, welcome back, thanks for tuning in. We've got uh, Anthony and Ollie here giving you a, a bit of a talk today on audio interfaces and uh, the best one that you can buy for your, for your money, I guess, without uh, latency and audio quality and static noise. We'll, we'll take a look at the four that I actually own um, and compare them all and see what you get for your money. They're all different kinds, whether they whether they're uh, like a USB powered one or a Firewire or Thunderbolt, they all. Uh, no, I don't have one of those. Um, oh, again, Ollie has promised to be on good behaviour today, and uh, isn't that right, mate? Well, I've got a shot. Well, you got it. It's all these people. They don't want to hear your fair language. But anyway, we'll, we'll get down to it. The first one I'll start with is the cheapest of all options, uh, which is the, the Stealth Plug by IK Multimedia. I think you get this in a, in a pack for about $100 or $120. Look, I used this particular lead for about six years, and you used it on YouTube, used it for, for most of my videos to start with, only until about maybe two or three years ago. Um, look, it, it does the job. You'll just find it's, it's very noisy. And if you've got a, a lower spec computer, you might get a little bit of latency, where latency is the lag after when you strum the guitar to actually when you hear the sound coming back through. Um, you can compensate this with, with lowering your... Uh, lowering the, the amount of data that the computer has to process in yeah yeah and also the buffer size the buffer on your computer when you set the audio interface up uh, I think you've got settings there of down to maybe 32 64 128 uh, pretty much a buffer is like the the refresh rate on a TV um, the lower the buffer it means that that every time the computer's processed the uh, 32 or 64 bits it sends it away and that's what you can hear so the lower the, the, the figure the more often the computer is working to, to send off so you get a, a faster or less latency I should say and that's the way I understand it um, but anyhow with the stealth plug you've got an option here to plug your headphones directly into the back of the jack here and you've got a volume up and down just hanging off your guitar look they last forever they're strong I, I don't get any crackling and the lead hasn't broken yet you know it, it did really copper puzzling for for five or six years through the guitar and it still works now as good as it did when I first bought it so average as the signal quality may be you will get your value for money out of it there are other cheaper USB guitar leads and they are really bad. I've tried just the just the leads that don't have the module in them that you get on eBay just with you know USB at one end and a quarter inch mono jack on the other and they're terrible. Okay next interface is what we've got here the Irie HD. Um, I essentially bought this to upgrade when I'm using my phone at work and practicing when I used to take my guitar to work but it also works as an excellent computer interface um, I believe if you have a Mac and you plug this in you automatically get uh, amplitude metal which is fantastic but I can assure you it's a very very clean signal it's a USB powered device it comes with all different leads and adapters to plug into your phones or like old iPhones, new iPhones and then USB for your computer and so forth. Uh, I can't remember exactly how much I paid but um, could have been about $140 or $150 and so far that's been fantastic. I still take it away and that's what I use with my 
laptop and things when I go away with work. Um, next interface, we've got the Roland Cakewalk FA66. And this is the one I currently use with my Mac for all recording. I've been using this for the last three years or so. Uh, it hasn't faulted, it's fantastic. It's got a lot of inputs and uh, outputs to my studio monitors. I've only, I'm only running two monitors out of this, but you can have up to four. Um, what's fantastic is you've got the RF inputs on the back of this, so any iPhone apps that you might have, things like Tachyon or, or any of those sort of like a iPad apps that might be an Ooh choir, choir or the, the sound prisms where you can drag your hands, just to make your own recordings a bit more interesting, they plug straight into the back of this, so it makes it really easy to uh, to record other media through this. What else about this? This is a Firewire device, so it's you get quite a, a very clean signal. I, I, when I plugged it in the first time, I was surprised how clean and crisp and high quality the signal was. I was really impressed, and I still am. I think it's fantastic. You've got your XLR and guitar inputs on the front. You've got a lot of different settings to optimize how you want to record. But um, essentially, for a firewire powered device, you don't need a you don't need a, a um, like an adapter for this on the ground. They do. You can use one if you wish, but I just have mine powered by the firewire through the Mac, and uh, it's fantastic. It really is. Uh, I think. At the time I paid around $200, maybe a little bit more for it. Um, they're becoming a little bit more obsolete now, I suppose. They're getting a little bit older. But if you can find one, I'd highly recommend it. And lastly, uh, here I went out and latest and greatest, I thought everything, uh, with the Max being Thunderbolt and it's meant to be the fastest data transfer yet, uh, I read great reviews about the Zoom Tac 2 here. Very, very simple device. Uh, one click button that cycles three different inputs and and uh, outputs and volume and everything. It's just a very simple audio device to use. Uh, on the Mac you do have to download some drivers to make it work. Um, and on the back here you've just got XLR inputs and uh, outputs to your studio monitors and it's a Thunderbolt powered device so on the front you've got headphones and instrument what's up mate? headphone and instrument inputs so um, look it's very simple very clean sound there's not any mucking around when you go to use it I haven't had it long enough to see if it's going to be durable or robust but um, at this stage it just works uh, and very clean but uh, Anyway, we'll, we'll go now and we'll test out a few of the devices and uh, see what you think.
I could have talked all day about all the different interfaces we have, but ultimately, you know, your ears decide. I had the computer set all the same for all devices. I used the same setting there as like a high gain EVH style tone, um, like the noisiest tone I could find just to show you how loud the, the static sound of these uh, interfaces is. But essentially, I hope you enjoyed the demo. Um, and helps you make a, a better choice to choose your next interface. It's something that uh, the interface is, is everything I find. The Mac and the interface is probably one of the most important aspects that, of, of what I do, especially so I get a nice recording for you guys. But um, anyway, thanks very much. Thank you, Ollie, and uh, take care, everyone. Bye. Good boy, mate.